When I was a kid, I thought that was just the sound the sun made when it was really hot. Welcome back everybody. I promised you we'd be planting more potatoes this year and I swear it's actually not too late. We're probably going to harvest these guys in about 90 days, which 90 days from now we're not going to have a frost yet. And even if we do, they'll be underground so they're going to do great. We can cover up the greens just like we did last time, but we're going to get these going because we are running out of summer. What we're making today is essentially a potato lasagna. I've got some nice container potting soil. It's pretty dry, it's been sitting in a bag out in the sun for a long time, so I've also got a can of rainwater ready to go. And we picked up a bale of straw, because this is going to help with the drainage issue I had. Um, everything that took over the potato area is actually doing really well. The tomatoes are doing really well. The carrots are almost ready to be picked. That's going to be so much fun. The beans are kind of in their uh, death throes. Now these are a cool weather crop as well, so I'm fixing to replant these guys. Um, all of these are nice and crunchy. Which means they're ready to be saved. And we'll pull them all down, free up the net, start all over again, plant some more. But these potatoes have been sitting on my counter for about a month, so let's get these guys planted. with any lasagna, the key is layering. I'm going to put a big chunk of straw at the very bottom so that water doesn't get kept up. Put in the chocolate. you get your bucket about halfway full, remember you have to mound your potatoes. You have to build up the dirt as they grow to kind of help them produce. So <clears throat> we're going to plant our potatoes while the dirt is still low, the dirt and the straw. And uh, as they grow, we'll slowly add it up. And then when they get mature, we can just take the whole thing and dump it up. Tubers expand, they need 
soil that's not going to constrict them, press against them. So that's why we're doing layers and layers of straw. So it shouldn't really offer much resistance. But the soil will help balance the moisture. Depending on our carrot harvest, we might have to try growing them this way too. There are a lot of tubers out there that don't like dense soil, which is fair, but it's really hard to not have dense soil. spent apart. She's my best friend and she's going to be here in about a week. I'm lucky I'll be able to convince her to come on and see you guys. Hot. All right, so we've got our A listers and ooh, our B listers. Some of these yellow ones I didn't actually grow, so can't take credit for that. But all of the red ones are mine, all the little ones are mine, including the little Yukons. Most of these don't have eyes on them yet, but I'm going to plant them anyway because what the heck. These guys, however, are starting to grow some wonderful little sprouts. So even though I would normally let them wait and uh, grow a little bit longer, we are running low on season. I'm confident these guys will go full term, but not if I wait much longer. So we're going to plant them and see what happens. As always, it's a learning experience. So I have high hopes for these guys. These are my A-listers, especially this one. I'm going to plant him whole.
Throw a few little red potato turds in there. It's doing great. This side's just getting started. And hopefully in 90 to 100 days, I can really impress you guys and make up for that terrible potato harvest that I had just a few weeks ago. Now that the potatoes are planted, I have a fun announcement to make. We have received our very first pieces of mail. Mr. Tommy, Mr. Larry, and Mr. Ragnar of Ragnar Rocks. I appreciate you guys. You are the first three people to reach out to us, and I will be sending you something special in the mail, I promise. Ragnar Rocks included some business cards if you guys want to check them out. You can see them on YouTube or you can get them at Gmail. And check these out. Garnet and Quartz. I appreciate you, Ragnar of Ragnar Rocks. If you want to write to us, our address is P.O. Box 50632, Bowling Green, Kentucky 42104. Or you can reach us directly on Instagram at Renegade2.0. I also want to say a huge thank you to my friend Bill at The Lone Moose on YouTube. He's organized a chili cook-off for us in October, and beyond the end of summer, it's one of the only things that I've been looking forward to besides hunting season. If you guys don't know who Bill is, I highly encourage you to check him out. The Lone Moose on YouTube. He has some amazing content. His barbecue skills are off the charts. He's going to teach me how to smoke large meats. We've been corresponding for a couple of years now, and hopefully next year we'll have a trip with him in Alaska. Bill, I am counting down the days. More than anything, I appreciate you guys joining us. We will see you back out on the river.